Hello, I'm Mr. Charlie and welcome to the AP Advanced Placement Physics Review. This course is suitable for students who have taken some physics before and are looking to get a uh, quick review, for example, before taking the AP Physics B exam. This class will focus on the Physics B material, which covers the wider range of topics from Newtonian mechanics to a little bit of quantum, um, some relativity at the end, uh, a lot of electromagnetism, uh, fluidics, stuff like this. Uh, as opposed to the Physics C exam, which is mostly calculus based and focuses on exploring uh, Newtonian mechanics and electromagnetism alone. So, that being said, this course will not require calculus. I may refer here and there lightly to some calculus concepts, but you won't need any calculus to understand everything that's going on. As long as you know your you know, basic high school algebra, geometry, um, arithmetic, some trigonometry, you should be fine. Uh, this course will also be suitable for students who have taken, again, taken some physics before because we're going to go pretty fast and talk about um, rigorous mathematical concepts uh, and fundamentals rather than, you know, trying to pick apart every problem. I'm not going to do how far does the ball fall in three seconds. Uh, I'm going to assume that you've done stuff like that before and talk more about the general um, mathematical basis behind it and practice doing some of the harder AP problems. So, but if you haven't taken AP and you're not reviewing for the test, that's fine. It's also good for people who just want to see what physics is all about and just want to maybe have taken a general physics class and want to get a taste of what type of problems we're going to work on in AP uh, before signing up for the real course. So it's also good for people like that. As I said, I'm Mr. Charlie. I just graduated from Providence, uh, from uh, Brown University in Providence, Rhode Island. I studied physics, of course, that was my major, uh, which I think is one of the most important subjects for people to study, of course, that's why I majored in it. Um, in my free time, when I'm not doing physics, I like to ski, uh, snowboard, rock climb, backpack, you know, the outdoor adventure sports kind of thing. Uh, <coughs> And um, before I get started, I also wanted to say a little bit about why I think physics is so important and why I think everybody should study physics, and certainly why I chose to study physics. I think that physics adds a number of layers of complexity and beauty and elegance to the way we experience the world around us. That's the short answer. Um, basically, you know, I think people walk around their everyday lives not really thinking much about what they interact with and how things work. And physics is the study of how things work, things being matter on one hand and energy on the other. Um, so, you know, for example, I look at this blackboard and I can appreciate this on a number of levels, not just the functional level. I don't just see it as a flat object hanging here for me to write on. Uh, I see that too, but I also see that, you know, there are forces acting on each part of this here. There are forces pulling down on the screws and for then the screw pulls back up with a reaction force, uh, according to Newton's third law of motion, and there are torques pulling down this way and torques pulling down this way that want to make the board spin, and all of these torques and all of these forces are perfectly balanced to keep it in static equilibrium and keep it from falling down or spinning or anything like that. In addition to the mechanical level, I also can appreciate it on more of a quantum uh, molecular level. I know that it's made up of uh, atoms and that the atom is mostly space, so, you know, I'm mostly space, it's mostly space, why can't I just pass through it? Well, I also know that I can't pass through it because of the very strong electrostatic repulsion. I am composed of charged particles, namely electrons. The board is also composed of similarly charged particles, namely electrons again. And as those electrons get close together, if you've ever played with a magnet, you've experienced this before too. Uh, you know that like charges repel, we'll be talking about that in the future. And as I get close to the board, the board repels me. So the, the solid feeling that I experience is really